question five. Figure two represents two glass flasks P and Q. P looks a bit smaller than Q, connected via a tap, tap in the middle. Flask Q, volume uh, 1 times 10 to the power of 3 centimetre cubed, is filled with ammonia. So Q is filled with ammonia, which is NH3, 100, 102 kilopascals and 300 degrees Kelvin. The tap is closed and there's a vacuum, means that there's nothing in uh, flask P. The gas constant R is 8.31. That, that gas constant R gives you a clue straight away, and we're talking about gases anyway. PV equals NRT is the gas equation, and that's the gas constant. So I'm going to use PV equals NRT. So PV equals NRT, what do I do? P is pressure. Pressure, 102 kilopascals. It needs to be in pascals. Kilopascals into a smaller unit value like pascals and multiply by a 1,000. So 102 kilopascals down into pascals, which is a smaller unit value, and multiplying by a 1,000. 102,000 pascals. So I've got the pressure in the, right, um, in the right units. V is volume. Um, so volume. So what's my volume? My volume is in centimetres cubed. It needs to be in metres cubed. Now, centimetre cubed, going up a unit value, goes up to decimetre cubed. And then decimetre cubed goes up to metres cubed. So in between centimetres cubed and metres cubed, there's another unit value of decimetre cubed. So if I'm going from a small unit value up to a large unit value, then I divide by a 1,000. So it's 1 times 10 to the power of 3, which is a 1,000 centimetre cubed. Up into decimetre cubed is divided by a 1,000. And then divided by a 1,000 again to get decimetre cubed into metres cubed. So it's 1 times 10 to the power of 3, which is 1,000, divided by 1,000, then divided by 1,000 again. So it's 0 0.001 metres cubed. That's my volume now. N I don't know. I think that's what I've got to find out. Find out the mass of ammonia. Well, I can find out, if I find out N, the number of moles, I can probably find out the mass from that, especially if I know the MR of NH3. Uh, R is the gas constant I've got that. T is the temperature in Kelvin. It's already in Kelvin. If it was in degrees C, I'd have to add on 273 to get it into Kelvin, but it's already in Kelvin, so that's 300. So I'm just starting to put these in now. 102,000 pascals multiplied by 0 0.001, that's my volume in meters cubed, equals N, the number of moles, multiplied by uh, 8.31, which is my gas constant, multiplied by 300, which is my temperature in Kelvin. So N is 102 divided by 8.31, because I'm taking it across the other side, divided by 300. N is 0 0.041, that's the number of moles. Now, I'm given the formula of ammonia. I wonder why I've been given the formula, probably so I can work out MR, because I've got number of moles is mass divided by MR, and I've got the number of moles, I've just worked that out, it's 0 0.041. If I can work out the MR, a nitrogen's a 14 and a hydrogen's 1. I've got three hydrogens, so I've got 14, add three ones, 17. So number of moles, 0 0.041, is mass divided by the MR, 17. Mass is 0 0.041 multiplied by 17. My mass is 0 0.696. Now, how many significant figures? Everything. 1.00 is three significant figures. 8.31, three significant figures. 102. 300. They're all to three significant figures. So let's get to three significant figures, 0 0.696 grams. Okay. The next part of the question, when the tap is op opened, ammonia passes into, into flask P. So it's going from here through the tap into flask P. So I've now just increased the volume. The temperature decreases by 5 degrees C. So now instead of the temperature being 300 Kelvin, it's now if I decrease by 5 degrees C, every time I come back down by a degree C, I come down by 1 Kelvin. So every time I go up by a certain number of degrees C, and I go down by a certain number of degrees C, the Kelvin, the number of Kelvin changes by the same amount. The only difference is that to turn degrees C into Kelvin, you need to add on 273. Okay, so my new uh, temperature is 295 Kelvin. The final pressure is 75.0 kilopascals. Uh, to get that into pascals, remember, I would um, multiply by 1,000, so that's 75,000 pascals. Calculate the volume in centimetre cubed of flask P. Well, I can calculate the whole volume, so PV equals NRT. Uh, pressure 
is 75,000 uh, pascals. So I've taken the 75,000 kilopascals, multiplied by 1,000 to get a large unit value down into a smaller unit value. Number of moles isn't changed. All I've done is just open the tap and made uh, new space, new volume available. I've not changed the number of moles of ammonia at all. So that's exactly the same, 0 0.041. Temperature, I've said, has come down by 5 degrees C, which is the same as coming down by 5 Kelvin, 295. So now I can start putting these numbers in. 75,000 pascals multiplied by the new volume. I don't know what the new volume is. I think that's what I'm trying to calculate. Uh, N is the number of moles, 0 0.041, which is the number of moles of ammonia, which is unchanged, 8.3. One, the gas constants unchanged and 295. All of that 0 0.041 multiplied by 8.31 multiplied by 295 equals 100.51, 100.51. So uh, 75,000, 75,000 times volume equals 100. 0.51. So 100.51 divided by 75,000 equals 0.00134. And it's in meters cubed. Remember, volume in this equation is in meters cubed. Now I can convert it into decimeter cubed and convert it into centimeters cubed if I want to to get a unit value from a high, large unit value in meters cubed down to a smaller one. Decimeter cubed, I divide by a thousand to get decimeter cubed down into the next smaller one. Centimeter cubed, I divide by a thousand again. So that's the total volume of both flasks. So both of them together. Do I know the, the volume of flask Q? Yes, I've been told that in the question I worked it out earlier is 0 0.001. So if I subtract the flat, the, the, that, the temp, that's the volume of the whole flask, 0 0.00134. 0 subtract 0 0.001, which is the volume of flask Q, I'll end up with the volume of just flask P on its own, 0 0.00034 meters cubed. If I divide by a thousand, sorry, if I multiply by a thousand to get meters cubed into um, decimeter cubed, so multiply by a thousand, it would be 0 0.34, 0 0.34 decimeter cubed, multiply by a thousand again to get into centimeter cubed. 340 centimeter cubed. So when I take a large unit value down into a smaller one like decimeter cubed and multiply by a thousand and then multiply by a thousand again to get the decimeter cubed down into centimeter cubed. 340.